Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to Custom 3D. Now, today's video is going to be great because I'm gonna show you a day in the life of me, an engineering intern. Not only do I have my own company, I also intern at a 3D printing company in Quonset, and they have a lot of really cool industrial printers. And I think you guys will really enjoy this. So as I'm walking out to my car, just introing the video today. So I hope you enjoy it guys, stay tuned. So it is currently 6.40 in the morning. This is when I usually make my departure from my house and head to my office in Richmond. So we're gonna head there, it's only about 10 minutes away. So guys, you may be wondering, why do I get here so early in the morning? Well, first of all, since I work in Quonset, I like to get here and check on the prints and everything, make sure everything is going good, send some emails, and then head over to Quonset. Also, I'd like to show you, I got a couple prints going on here, all in gray, PETG. So far, so good as part of a big order and uh, a lot of support material required, but it's been going okay, a couple of reprints. Alrighty guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove prints off of the belt plate. Alrighty guys, so we're all set here at Custom 3D. Now we're going to make the long trek, a whole 24 minutes to Quonset. Now for you, for, for those of you that you know don't live in Rhode Island, 24 minutes is like half the state. So it's a long trek and I'll see you, there. See you guys there. Alrighty guys, we just arrived from Custom 3D Headquarters to R&D Technologies, which is the company I intern at here at the Quonset Business Park. This is a great company. Uh, however, they deal on the industrial printer side with Stratasys, which is different than what I do. I deal with a lot of the hobbyist printers. You gotta see some of the stuff they can make with these machines, it's actually pretty awesome. So thanks guys, and again, stay tuned I'm gonna show you the day-to-day -day operations of what we do here and why this company is really cool and I think you guys should check it out and I'll link it in the description below. Alrighty guys, so we are in the R&D Technologies print room, as you can see here. And uh, this is 
all these printers are industrial with the exception of this MakerBot here, but uh, so Stratasys offers a, you know, a very large line of really cool FDM, Polyjet, and SLA printers. And as you can see here, we have some 450s, we have a 400, which is an older version of a 450, then we have a 380 right here. Here we have the 900, which is the largest you know, industrial printer Stratasys offers, and we have one of our wonderful engineers, Colin Mulvey, working on it, getting it ready to be uh, start printing. So basically, with these printers, we are able to achieve feats that really can't be done on the hobbyist level printers with all these certifications that we're able to make parts for aerospace companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin. And, you know, it's just really, really cool industrial parts. And these machines, uh, like I said in a past video, can really run for thousands upon thousands of hours and not skip a beat. So that's just a little tour of the print room. I'll also give you a tour of the front office. Um, and yeah, basically, my day-to-day -day here is coding out parts for customers, switching over the printers in terms of materials, and I'll be showing you one of those. I'm, I think we might be doing a material change in one of the printers today. Um, actually, this one right here is doing a change. Uh, looks like they're loading in some ABS and it's loading the material right now. So yeah, just quoting out stuff for customers, you know, different parts. There are really no limitations of what we can create with these printers. Uh, we do offer uh, SLA in-house and it is a Formlabs printer, but Stratasys does offer a SLA printer as well, but we do not have one of those here at R&D. So something else I wanted to show you guys is a post-processing department here at R&D. Occasionally I'll come back here and you know work on some polyjet parts and FDM. Uh, and we also have an employee back here that does a great job post-processing, but unfortunately he doesn't really like to be on camera. So this is a uh, basically a power washer. And when you print stuff in polyjet, it has a lot of support material on it and you can use this power washer essentially to blast the parts off. Uh, also, when it comes to FDM and soluble supports, we can put this in, it's a you know, sonic wave wash. You see a lot of these smaller ones all over the place and then we can also put them in this as well. Just a chemical mixture that is able to dissolve a lot of the supports off. I just wanted to show you this part that uh, one of our engineers is post-processing. Uh, I believe it's a part for a local manufacturer, for a retiring employee. So here we have Colin Mulvey. Hello. And uh, Hello. so tell us a little bit about the part that you're post processing. So I'm polishing up this coin. I have some uh, clear on the outside that I'm sanding down and then polishing with our buffing wheel. And that way it'll come out nice and glossy for our customer. Very cool. And what machine was that printed on? It's printed on our Stratasys J850. Oh, that's awesome. So as you can see, guys, you know, we can print pretty much anything on these printers. Uh, you know, I don't really do a lot of that post-processing. You know, those guys have done a lot more than I have. But it's really cool what you can, uh, you know, turn out with these machines. So another part of the company I'd like to bring you into is where we store all of our material. So we have uh, some open canisters here and here. Now, this filament is just like something you'd see on, you know, the, the smaller items. But the great thing about these canisters is it keeps them nice and fresh and the moisture out of the filament so it doesn't really ruin it that much. These canisters, you know, last forever due to them being sealed. And now when we walk into here, this is where all the rest of our 
uh, filament slash material is stored. We offer you know a wide range of materials like Ultum, ABS, PC, Diran, and uh, you can see we have it all you know walls of filament, and it's great. It's really cool stuff. So something else that we offer that's really cool, and occasionally I'll do stuff for these, but I'm not really trained in them, is Solidscape wax printers. These are great for printing small jewelry parts that need to be casted. So these print in wax, actually. It's sort of, how, it's like a combination between the high detail of SLA and Polyjet, but it runs, you know, a lot like a Cartesian style FDM printer when you have the axes, or a Core XY, yeah, Cartesian printer, and it runs back and forth where the build plate just goes up and down. Uh, it's a great technology that a lot of people, you know, brush over, uh, and you can get insanely high detail out of these printers. Also, we have another storage rack for material, and that stuff you can actually see, it looks a lot like the smaller spools. Uh, you know, you just have to bag them up to keep them from getting moisture in them. And then that goes for this uh, F370. Now a lot of these uh, printers, I can't show you what's being printed on them because we are under NDAs, but uh, you know, I can assure you that all these parts are great industrial and they come out amazing almost every time. Also, safety first, guys. Alrighty, so we just got a PO uh, from a company and right now this 450, probably making you dizzy, but is in PC and we need to switch it over to ABS. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna switch over to a time lapse and show you how it's done. Alrighty, so the first step was just clicking the button to unload the material. Now I'm gonna to go to the top of the machine and switch out the tips and the material at the bottom of the machine. Alrighty guys, so I just did a material change in the Fortis 450, and uh, so basically it has to run a calibration after you replace the tips and uh, you know change the material out so that it can get the best print possible. And I'm still running a little time lapse on this, so yeah. And, and basically, what I had to do is I had to go to the top of the machine, take out the old old tips because they were printing in PCABS and put in uh, tips that we've been using with ASA or ABS and uh, same thing with the model and the support. The support material is dissolve dissolvable SR30. Uh, it's similar to PVA in properties, but it's a little bit better. Um, and yeah, now it's doing the calibration for the machine. And then after it's done with that, we're gonna start the print. All right, so a couple more quotes just rolled in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do those and cue the time lapse. Alrighty guys, so my day is pretty much done here at R&D Technologies, but that does not mean my day is over. 
you know, so since I went to Custom 3D this morning, I'm gonna head home and then eat dinner and then go back to Custom 3D headquarters and do some more work. So thanks guys, I'll see you there. One hour later. Alrighty guys, I am now back at the Custom 3D headquarters. And so basically the prints are still going strong. I got, another, I got, you know, these are the same prints and I got a couple more after this one. But yeah, so now I have class, I have calc two since I'm still in school. Uh, and I don't know if you can hear the professor talking in the background, but I'm on a Zoom meeting right now. So it's um, very fun online school. Um, as you can tell, I'm being very sarcastic. With that guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up today's video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more like this, just let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions about my company or R&D Technologies, also ask them in the comments below. I'll be linking the video that I made for them on the same day uh, in the description below, along with their YouTube channel. Uh, I love working there. I couldn't speak more highly of that place. They've taught me so much about 3D printing and uh, just how to run a business. Everybody there is simply amazing. So I just wanted to thank them, first of all, uh, for what they've done for me. Also, make sure to check out all my social media links in the description below. Uh, and if you have any other questions, just ask away. So thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.